Yeah. Right down there, there's sea lions. We have wildlife in our mall. to meet 11 it's right now well it's going to be soon i actually have to leave right now um i don't know why i'm standing here it's time to go Need my phone <laughs> So I'm at the going to the Instagram meet. I'm not there yet. I uh, this is a cool one. This is going to be at West Edmonton Malls, and we went there just a little while ago. And I'll link that up in corner. Is it? I think it's this one. This corner, and you can watch that there as well. But this is a cool one because they don't usually let people in, let alone large groups of people, to take photos. So let's go. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. Really good. It's like the world's like sixth largest mall and the world's largest parking lot. Yeah. Couldn't find a spot. <laughs> for the photo contest basically what we're going to do is we're going to let you guys have a few days to pick the ones that you like the best do your editing whatever you like also if you guys want to leave your stuff around myself and elliot will be in uh, the conference room here throughout so you don't have to feel you need to haul your jackets and everything around everything will be safe in here hi we hear so much about only doing the thing that we love to do. But the reality is, there's things we have to do that I just don't love. I don't like cleaning up after five children. I don't like having to do bank stuff. I don't like doing my taxes. There's certain parts of my job that I really don't like either. And so, while it's nice to say, do what you love, it doesn't always happen that way. In fact, I don't think it can always happen that way. Trying to just do, only do, everything that I love is going to leave me horribly disconnected from some responsibilities that I need to take care of. Just because I don't love doing it doesn't mean I'm exempt from it. And believe me, there's things I really don't like to do and sometimes I have to. It sucks. And I know that many of you are in the same boat with that. You woke up Monday morning and you said, Ah, oh, I have to do this again? And right now, yeah. Yeah, you do. And so the very term, the very question of do what you love, the very statement of do what you love versus love what you do. So what I want to talk about right now. All right, so the Instamate started. There's people already taking pictures. Look at <laughs> And so it's a huge scavenger hunt in the mall, which is actually kind of fun. So we'll see what happens. I have to stay on floor two to help people. Actually, look at this. That's cool. I found him. He slept in and missed his ride to the mall. He did. So we're uh, we're at the mall still. Instamate's going well. Uh, people are on a scavenger hunt right now. Right, Jaden? Of course, Jaden's not because he refuses to play nice. So yeah, that's Jaden. We need to learn 
to love what we do. We're not going to just do the things we love. We already talked about that. It's impossible. But what would it take for me, for you, to learn to love what you do? See, that right there is something we can actually do something about. I know that people are in situations and it feels like you can't get out of it. It feels like you're stuck in that situation and because oh, of money and because of mortgages and kind of because of debt and lots of other things, you can't, you have to do those things. What if I told you today that you could actually love what you do? Well, I'm pretty sure that most of you would say, where do I sign up? I want to feel different. I want to actually love what I do. I want to be happy when I wake up in the morning. I want to go to work and actually be joyful instead of the bitter person that I am most days. Most people, maybe I should be selling this, most people would pay a lot of money to feel that way. I'm gonna tell you something, it's completely free and you can have it, everybody can. The answer is, can you hold on to something that can't be taken away from you? Think about it for a second. If you actually valued something like honesty and honesty was like the foundation, the bedrock, of who you were, no matter what you did, even if the job wasn't great, you could still always be honest. And so rather than being defined by the job you have or the thing you're doing, you could be defined by the things that can't be taken away from you. In this case, being honest. If you can think of things that can't be taken away from you and start to make them the center of your life, it isn't gonna matter what you do when you wake up on Monday morning because you're gonna know who you are. And I think a lot of the time as we're trying to like figure out this whole thing about life, a lot of it comes down to, I don't really know what I stand for. And I thought I was being told that it had to come from what I did. Even if you take away all the stuff that I'm doing right now, the core of me has certain truths, has certain foundation that can't be taken away. Therefore, no matter what I do, I can love it. I found Eddie. There ran she is. After him. She ran all the way from over there to find me over here. For reasons that I won't describe right now, she just became my best friend. So she'll be on more vlogs now. <laughs> all right. Still here at the Insta Meet, there's my boat. You remember that from the other episode? I linked it up there before. But there it is again. There's Jaden. So yeah, there's more sea lions going on down there. Should we look at the sea lions? I don't know if you can see those or not. Yeah. All right, Jaden, Damien. Follow Jaden on Instagram, whatever. But follow Damien, he's awesome. Insta meet. Out. Actually. Yes, see. Axel. What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> See you. See you, man. Have a good one. How about today? Let's not focus so much on the thing you hate, but focus on why you hate it. What is it in us that is causing that hatred to happen? Don't blame someone else. Don't blame the situation. Because at the end of the day, all we really have is what's going on in here. When you're laying in bed at night, you know what's going on in here. And I promise you, if you have the things that are foundational that can't be taken away from you, it's gonna make things better. Are they gonna be challenging? 100%, you can't change that really. Challenge is challenge and if we don't have challenge, if we don't have some sort of resistance or pushback even, it's hard to grow. We talked about it last week. A guy at the gym has resistance with weights and unless he lifts them and feels the pain of those things, it's a good chance he's not gonna be able to grow. And so today, don't be discouraged if you woke up this morning and said, oh, I hate what I'm doing. You know, rather than concerning ourselves so much with doing what I love and only what I love, let's get to the place where we can love what we do. And I think taking the steps that I pointed out today is how we're actually gonna get there. So don't give up, find the foundation, find the thing that you can stand up with and learn to love what you do. All right.
ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਨੂੰ